With just two weeks to go in the Democratic primary season, Hillary Clinton says she is staying in, and she won big in Kentucky yesterday. But Barack Obama won Oregon and now needs fewer than 100 delegate votes to win the Democratic nomination for president. And joining us now to talk about it is uh, North Central College professor Stephen Caliendo, who makes regular appearances here. He's also got that really popular blog. Appreciate that. Thank you. Good to see you guys. All right. So where do we stand right now? Um, Hillary Clinton is saying she is going to stay in it. Um, it, it, it. Should we be concerned or should the Obama campaign be concerned that so many people who in exit polls who said they voted for Clinton said they will not vote for him in the fall? Well, absolutely. It's a concern and it's a reverse concern on the Clinton campaign that um, that they've only been able to get 8 to 10 percent of African-American vote, for instance. Um, I think what we really want to look at is what happens on the 31st, which is when the Rules Committee for the Democratic National Convention meets to decide what's going to happen with Michigan and with Florida. Because if you listen to Hillary Clinton's speech last night, her version of the math always includes Michigan and Florida. Right. And, 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 of course, you know, the Democratic National Committee's version of the math, at this point at least, doesn't include them at all. What's expected is there's going to be some compromise where maybe half the delegates get seated. But how to apportion them is still a question. So how much does persuasion come into play on the part of the Clinton camp on that front? A hundred percent. That's okay. exactly what they need to do because it, to win, they're going to have to persuade more superdelegates to that, that, they, that the Clinton has a better chance of winning than Obama. And, and to do that, they're going to use uh, the kind of numbers that they want to see, which is popular vote numbers. Um, you know, they're holding up signs. You'll see at the Clinton rally, every vote should count. But it's very interesting because in the numbers that Hillary Clinton says in her speeches, she's discounting all the caucus states uh, because she's only including popular vote in primaries. And so all those states aren't counting under that math. So both Obama and Clinton.